We love to print it uncoated. We're really excited that uh, we can print just as sharp and just as detailed on uncoated as we can a coated sheet. And uh, we've, we've found, found ways to uh, compensate with PMS colors and varnishes and techniques and it just gets, gets wonderful results. It's really important that you customize your curve. You customize your curve for your own printing conditions, for your own presses. Um, that's so important because, you know, softwares offer curve compensations, but no two printers are exactly the same. The main thing is file adjustment. You know, you can't use the file that you use on the coded sheet. Maybe that middle tone dot gain in the highlights uh, need to be backed off 20%. And uh, most of the time, um, the, the way to do that it would be to, to print a grayscale and see what your grayscale is printing on that stock and actually measure it. Run your inks where you want to be uh, and then measure your dot gain and that helps pre-press. When you put the standard process colors down um, on a coated sheet versus an uncoated, it, um, the ink colorants uh, take on a different look. We can alter that ink hue so that it looks the same on, on uncoated. So, so that can give you a one step, uh, one step uh, better results because you're changing for the hue of the inks. The printers that have uh, UV presses take advantage of UV ink. Um, UV ink, uh, as you know, it's a dry trap process. It's, it's dried and cured with uh, heat lamps and at the end of every unit. So it's a dry trap. So the ink doesn't have a chance to absorb in the paper anymore. It dries it on top a little bit. And because of that, um, your dot gain is about half of what it would be at convention. Also, you don't have to use offset powder, so you don't have you know you don't have to run it back through to dust the sheet. There there are some very uh, unique things out also that um, when you print conventional inks, um, uh, it's uh, important to put like a dull varnish uh, on top of it to seal the sheet, but also to minimize. Uh, the, the surface, you know, the surface texture, um, and that, that'll help give it a matte look. We've been asked so many times uh, about varnishes. You know, the, the theory is, well, you know, we'd like to do a gloss varnish on the image. We'd like to have the image pop away from the, the, the soft texture. And uh, unfortunately, you don't see a massive difference. It, it reacts differently on uncoated. And really what it does, it's, it's quite harmful because it actually enhances the surface texture. The uncoated stock uh, paper mills have uh, been working with uh, all the ink manufacturers. And so there's, there's some coating techniques out there that uh, a lot of the ink manufacturers are making. You know, they have some, some stuff that gives it like a soft touch feel some raised areas that they can increase. So there's a lot of things that uh, uh, will actually enhance on an uncoated. We're also finding out on an uncoated that it's, it's in great for embossing too with all the extra the fibers that are in there. We, it, uh, it, it does a much better job, holds much more on blind embossing and the different uh, bindery techniques um, also. We've had um, great experience with the Domtar products. Uh, you know, we can run Cougar through the press and there's uh, very, very mental dusting and linting that we experience and through the whole run process and the continuity, uh, we've, we've had a great success, including all the way through the, the bindery. It's been consistent. We've, we've had excellent results with the Dom, Dom Tar collection, with the, the Cougar and the Lynx. Uh, they seem to be you know, fairly, fairly priced and we, we've had excellent results with it.